What's going on guys? Welcome to another guide video in which one I'm gonna talk about how do I get 20 to 30,000 mil per day with low investments. Basically you can do it without any central market pre-orders and even not spending any silver so with further ado let's get into it. As I talked in my previous videos, decided to start cooking and the goal was to reach Guru. At first I thought it will take months, same like with gathering, but it was completely opposite. Just in 4 days I managed to hit Guru 1 by making pickled vegetables, vinegar, basically cheap meals. Of course I did some Serendia meals, had gathered meat, so craft grilled sausages. After turn them into the ham sandwiches. So yes, can your central market look for the best options and start cooking those meals? That would be my advice. While doing those meals, you will get tons of which delicacies. More wise would be to use it first, getting max contribution points. But as you already hear, so you know that I'm not aiming to get my max contribution points at this moment. Since I figured out that milk is uh, like a gold in this game and central market is with more than 400,000 pre-orders, I thought I have to start making it by myself. And that's where I find out the best option how to get 20 up to 30,000 milk a day by using three methods and they are farming, milking cows obviously and doing cooking. The last method, the cooking, is the best. When you start making thousands of meals you're gonna get hundreds of which delicacies which converts into beer, milk, cooking XP and contribution points. Just pick what you want. Like I did, I picked milk I do that just to make the video about it, how much I've got in this one week. There wasn't one day task like my other videos are. Decided to make full week cooking, milking and growing cows in my garden. Yeah, you can do that. So, to grow the cows in your garden? Yeah, you can do that. Uh, so let's talk about what was my daily routine for that. So basically, right before I start cooking from the early morning, when my energy is full, I'm going straight to Farless Dirt Farm, carrying two extra large energy potions. And there I stay for 10 up to 15 minutes till I burn all my energy by milking cows. Why do I have two large energy pots? just for 10 times more milking cows. Basically it costs you 10 energy to milk the cow. So yeah, two energy pots, it's 100 energy and that equals to 10 times milking the cow. So I have 400 energy plus two pots and that is 500 energy from which I can make from 2200 up to 2400 milk just in let's say 12 minutes and that I make three times a day you can get it up to four or five times if you are restoring your energy with the pots so yeah up to you so you can do that basically three times a day so three times a day one time is 2000 plus up to two and a half thousand milk so that's around 6,000 even more, I think, so you can aim around 8,000 milk in just one day by doing this method, just going with your full energy and dropping on the cows. You know what I mean. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'd like to mention that it's with the Guru level gathering. And I have a spreadsheet which might be helpful for you. Okay, so my opinion, the best way to get milk is just by doing cooking and getting the witch delicacies. At least that's from where I made most of the milk. I was cooking a lot, I mean spent at least 
8 hours a day cooking, finishing one utensil, straight jumping onto another. I didn't make videos how I was doing that, but you know how this process works, yeah. By just making simple dishes. There were no such uh, Valencia meals or any other special meals. Yeah, I had some meat, so made maybe five or seven thousand of Serendia meals, but mostly I was making pickled vegetables, vinegar, fig pie. Just take a chance, go to the central market, scan it, which meals you can make and make the profit even from it. As I mentioned, it took for me less than a week to reach Guru One cooking. Crazy how fast it was. Of course, without plus four cook's clothes and the pearl shop costume, I believe that would take a bit longer than one week. You can make it very fast and with low efforts. Talking about uh, the witch delicacy procs, that's where you will never know how much you can make an hour. I mean those witch delicacies, it happened for me that I did 5000 vinegar cooking and I've got only 20 of those. So yeah, sad but few times it happens for me. My experience with cooking 6 to 10 hours a day I can make from those uh, witch delicacies around 20,000 milk or even more. But as I said, you have to be active with cooking. Jumping from one to another utensil and having the materials ready in your storage just to start making thousands of meals such as vinegar or pickled vegetables. Third method, farming. Yep, growing those cows in your fences. If you have 10 storage fence, you can fit two haystacks in one, so 10 fences, 20 haystacks, and of course you have two extra empty slots, so feel free to pick yourself what do you want to grow. I pick onions, uh, I think it will be useful in the future for cooking. Talking about the haystacks, I'm getting from 45 up to 60 milk from each, but few times I've proved and I've got 50 plus 84 milk, so in total 134 milk from one haystack. Again, it's not 100% that you get it, but sometimes it happens. To fully grown all haystacks takes for me from 5 up to 8 hours because I'm not putting much effort into it like killing pests and pruning around or how is it called you know what I mean so my routine uh, with haystacks is I gather all milk in the morning right before I start cooking replanting again all 20 haystacks and coming back right after I finish all the cooking journey so that's more or less after 7-10 hours which leads into two times a day farming milk from your fences. Those haystacks replant each time cost me 20 millions based on EU central market prices. So yeah it's not the cheapest method but hey again 400,000 milk pre-orders in the central market so you make from two up to two and a half thousand milk just by growing cows in your farming fences okay so let's add all those three methods into one day and numbers would be from Fowler's dirt farm I make with 400 energy plus two large potions 2400 milk and that you can do three times a day so in total let's say let's take the minimum right 6,000 milk just from that active cooking depends on you want to start doing that just for milk you can make tens of thousand milk per day everything depends on your active cook and of course turning all those witch delicacies into the milk or contribution points it's just up to you I know I should go for max contribution points first, but hey, milk is gold in this game, right? Farming. Haystack growing in your fences. That's two times a day action, right? Not even staying 20 minutes to take care of it. It can bring you from one and a half up to 2,000 or even more milk per day. 
So yeah, this is it guys, simple guide for milk. I would highly recommend to go for father's dirt farm, spend there all your energy in 10 minutes or even less and you have decent amount of milk which price in my opinion is underrated and start cooking. It will bring you good money and tons of milk. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, leave the comment down below, smash the subscribe button, hit the like and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.